Redditors who have hired a private investigator. What did you find out? I have a story about private investigators doing a hilariously shit job. So, years ago, my brother injured his back at work because of his employer's unsafe work practices. During the ensuing suit, my brother's lawyer was given a folder full of documents from the employer's team. Turns out, they had hired a PI to investigate my brother to prove that his injury was faked. Well, unfortunately, the PI had been taking pictures of me, operating an ATV-mounted leaf hopper. My brother walked into the court hearing and watched the color drain from the opposing lawyer's faces when he introduced himself, looking nothing like me. One of my jobs is to search for long-lost relatives, usually several generations ago. Typically, the case is about old plots of land where I should track down owners, or their heirs, to update the land registry because a state wants to build their something. Let me tell you, the amount of information you can find on Google and in public records is astounding if you know where to look. I know someone that hired a pet detective to find their cat, and he fucking found him. My little brother hired one to find his dog. He was living in LA and his complex let the dog out on accident. Small dog some mud of toy breeds. He looked on his own for two weeks and was devastated. My folks found this guy in Indiana who was like $3,000 to hire, but he guaranteed he'd find the dog or he wouldn't get paid. My folks and I chipped in as my brother couldn't afford that. The guy found my brother's dog inside of a day. Shit was wild. I had a girlfriend that worked for one for a while. She said that the majority of their work was insurance scams. She took a lot of pictures of guys who said they were hurt on the job playing golf and surfing and such. There seems to be a lot of that in this thread. Sometimes I wonder if I'd be able to pull off such a scam because any investigator would only be able to determine that after the accident I didn't post my life on social media and I almost never engaged in strenuous activity outside the house. So no change there then. Not me, but a friend hired one because he was suspicious his stepdad was being unfaithful to his mom. So he asked me, and I put him in contact with a guy I knew. Bit of a backstory, the stepdad is 5 feet 10 inches, 160-ish pounds. My friend is 6 feet 2 inches, 235 pounds, ripped. At 15, when my friend's mom and stepdad started dating, my friend gave the the typical you heard her, you're dead speech. Also his bio dad walked out on him, and his sister when my friend was like 4. It took a while, but my friend warmed up to the guy and he's a good guy took my friend and I to an 49ers game once which was pretty cool. Anyways, the PI said he wasn't cheating. Apparently there was a house on the market that my friend's mom wanted, and he bought it. He had been remodeling it for some time, and he kept it a secret. As a 5-year anniversary gift to her, he bought it. Anyways, they live in a 5-bed house now. Even in 2020 I struggled to picture a private investigator as anything but a man in a beige trench coat and a trilby. That's the only PI image I've had as I've been reading through the comments LMAO. I was a private investigator for a little bit. Most work PIs do is searching financial court records and serving documents. But one time I was paid by wealthy parents to stake out their college senior who had stopped returning their calls. They were worried about her. These parents paid like $40,000 for round-the-clock monitoring just to find out their daughter dropped out of school and was a full-time ski bum. By the way stakeouts are mostly just sitting in your car reading all day. I have always wondered, how do you pee discreetly on a stakeout? Edit, I'm a guy. I've pissed into bottles before. I'm wondering about the discreetly part. How do you do it so it isn't obvious to people walking by on the street? My dad hired a PI in the mid-90s in Eastern Europe to find out if one of his business partners was stealing from him. Instead he found out his own brother was stealing from him. He refused to believe the PI and his brother robbed him blind. Took a huge amount of money and left him with gigantic debt. He still forgave him. Had a babysitter we thought was stealing from us, luckily our neighbor was a PI couple, and they ran a background check for $10. 
Babysitter had a string of DUIs and a few days before a large fine was due, my camera disappeared. He also stole money from my kids' piggy banks. He sort of disappeared but was also really into Instagram so I surreptitiously followed him. He started babysitting again for a single mom, easy target, and posted a lot of fun pics with this family. I tracked down the mom and sent her a long email detailing out his whole scam. She said we were right and it was clear he'd been stealing from her business. He has since gone underground but I still google him regularly to see what he's up to. He's been able to avoid arrests for a while now.